come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, is it lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, that's galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi. Our tale today is about three soldiers who got some unusual help when they least expected it. The three soldiers had fought bravely for their country for many years and were at last returning from the wars hungry and homeless. They were tired from their long march and sat down on a log to rest when suddenly they heard something stirring inside the log. And out popped a very funny little man. Who goes there? Three weary soldiers, sir trying to find a way home. And where is home? Well, uh, uh, at the moment, we uh, don't seem to have a home. Just as I thought. Well, it's my special job to look after old soldiers. Just hold on there a minute. This is a magic cloak. Whenever you are wearing it, whatever you wish for will come true. Oh, uh, thank you very much. And for you, a magic purse that will always be full of gold, no matter how often you dip into it. Oh, thank you. Uh... And last, but not least, not a bit, a wonderful trumpet, which will bring people to serve you whenever you blow it. You fine fellows have your reward for good and faithful service, and ten shun! My job is done. I say, if we're not dreaming... And so began a life of luxury for our three friends. But after a while, they grew restless. I hear there's a king living in the next country who is a very pleasant fellow. And I've heard he has a beautiful daughter. Then what are we waiting for? And now, I wish we were approaching our neighbor's castle. When word reached the king that his neighbors were on their way to pay a visit, he and his daughter, the princess, went to an upstairs room to watch them arrive. They look like simple, foolish folk in spite of their fine clothes. I think I'll have some fun with them. And how came you by such sudden wealth when you say that you and your friends have been poor soldiers all your lives? Oh, I have a magic purse which never empties. And my comrades have a magic cloak which grants the wearer his every wish and a wonderful trumpet which summons help whenever it's needed. I see. Alas for that careless soldier. At dinner that evening, the princess put a sleeping potion into the wine. And when they had fallen asleep, their gifts were taken from them. Then when they were still fast asleep, the palace guards carried them outside the town. It was the next day before they awoke and realized what had happened. No, we have nothing. All our wonderful gifts are gone. Well, these look good. I'll eat some now before I get too hungry. Good heavens! What is happening to me? Oh, no! Help! Help me! I see. What's going on? We must get him to a doctor. No need for a doctor. I am here. Here, eat this and see what happens. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Happy to oblige. I have it. The perfect punishment for our wicked princess. Strange that those silly boys should send me a gift of fruit. My nose! My nose! What's happening to me? And then the three soldiers put the rest of their plan into effect. The tall one disguised himself as a doctor and came to call on the princess. He treated her, but still her nose remained unchanged. I'm afraid it's going to be very difficult to cure you. Something is working against my medicine, something very strong, and I think I know what it is. Oh, what? Please tell me. You have stolen goods here. That is why my magic won't work. No, no, it isn't true. Then I can do no more for you. Your nose will be like that forever. Good day. Wait, wait. 
It is true. Cure me and I'll return your things. Eat this and you'll be all right. And you may um, keep the rest of the fruit as a reminder of your wickedness. Now, I bid you good day. So home they went and lived long, happy, and useful lives with their three wonderful possessions. Have you done anything dishonest lately? If you have, you'd better feel your nose. <laughs>